All right. Here's the evolving DC receiver. This box of uh, Galaxy G5, it just has the capacitor. This board over there is the uh, VFO board. Real simple VFO built around that kind of air core coil that's built on a tube from a <laughs> coat hanger. One of my favorite coil forms for VFOs. A lot of NPO caps in there, a JFET. Then it goes into the uh, the main board. Oh, this is junk laying around here. I have one little FET in the front end. I have one very simple bandpass filter, one two diode mixer, and then one audio amplifier that um, doesn't, it's not an IC, it's just three transistors. And uh, I think it's a 2N3904, 2N3906, and then another 2N3904 in there. And then I gotta go now to this little computer speaker just so that you guys can hear it, but I, I can plug in also my old uh, iPhone headphones there and do it without without any outside additional amplification. 40 meters is it's in the afternoon right now. There's a lot of CW signals out there. Some sort of during the week contest, MST. If you watch the frequency of the oscillator up there on the counter on the Rigel scope. Plenty stable. They seem to be having a lot of fun. Seven oh five seven Straight Key Club, State Key, State Key, State Straight Key Century Club. Let's see if we get some, some SFB signals up here. Hold on. SSB actually, it's all down CW right now. About 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Somebody call KK8X. Call him, call him. Yeah, right, having fun with this thing. I, I, don't, I don't think we should give up on using ceramic resonator, but I think this shows that it doesn't take much to make a real VFO and make it work on a 40-meter direct conversion receiver. 